In this session we discuss how to find and place SlideShare badges. Now, the first thing I want to demonstrate for you is how you might go about finding where a social site has the widgets that they offer or the badges that you can use to place on your site. The first thing I would do is scroll toward the bottom of the page when you're logged into your account and see if they have a site map area down here which SlideShare does. And this where it says developers and API is a good indication that that's where we might find our widgets and badges. And sure enough here's a link that says widgets for your blog. So if we click on that it'll bring us to a page that has a number of widgets but also has an option for badges which is what we want to explore today. Now Remember the difference between a badge and a widget is that a badge is simply a graphical representation of a link. And so the idea is that I take this code and I place it on my site and it will display this image so that when somebody clicks on this image it's going to bring them directly back to my SlideShare account. Whereas a widget usually has more functionality. Now we're going to explore widgets in a number of sessions after this one. But remember that a badge is a simpler thing than a widget, and that's all we're going to place today. The first thing we want to do is kind of scroll down and decide which widget we want on our site. And the kind of badge that I prefer are the ones that give people a better idea of what is going to happen when they click on the badge. So this one indicates that when they click on here, it's going to take them to my SlideShare profile. So then the next step is to copy the code. And I'm going to show you how to do this in two different ways. First of all, I'm going to show you how to place it on a WordPress website or blog. And I'm also going to show you how to place it on an HTML website. So here we are at um, the back end of a dashboard of WordPress. And we're at Appearances, Widgets. And then when we create custom badges or widgets like this, we want to scroll down and find what's called a text widget. And we're going to drag that up here onto either one of our sidebars or our primary widget areas is what they're, what they're also called. And when we open that up, we see an area for the title and then also a body area. We're going to go ahead and put a title in here. And now we're going to paste the code that we just copied from a SlideShare site into the body of our text widget. We scroll down a little further here and click on Save. Now to close this box up you press on this little arrow here. Because the other thing that I want to do is I want to pull this badge up above the other ones that I've created in this series. And once we've done that we're going to go ahead and view the blog and we'll see that we have our SlideShare badge here and when somebody clicks on that it will take them directly to my SlideShare uh, profile. Now let's go ahead and take a look at how you might do that and on an HTML site. Here is the example of our site. I already have some widgets over here that I've demonstrated before. So I'm going to open up the code in Dreamweaver and remember you can do this in any text editor if you know HTML already this is an easy thing for you to do but Dreamweaver is also a, uh, a nice a choice for creating your websites if you prefer a more visual view. So where I want to place that SlideShare badge is underneath this YouTube badge. So I'm going to click on the YouTube badge and go up here into my code and get an idea of where that is. So I found where it is. Now I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to paste my SlideShare code in there. I'm going to click back here into the visual view and take a look at it. And one of the things that we notice is that, is that it has this kind of strange blue border around it. The way to get rid of that in Dreamweaver is to open up your, your properties area and click in zero under border. And then you can just put that back down. And that should get rid of that blue, that blue border that was around there. And now I also want a little bit more space between YouTube and the SlideShare badge. So I'm just going to hit enter there. And now I'm going to 
view this. So now I have all of the badges that I've created in this series, including my SlideShare badge. And that concludes this session.